SpaceX launching its broadband ambitions last night as the first 60 of its Starlink satellites were carried into orbit by a Falcon 9 rocket and successfully deployed. The rocket's first stage booster was once again recovered as well on a drone ship. Starlink would consist of thousands of small low-cost satellites to provide broadband service from low Earth orbit. This is a big and risky bet for SpaceX, but one that Musk sees as a big potential revenue stream that would be crucial to funding new rockets and SpaceX's longer-term plan to go and colonize Mars. Satellite broadband is quickly getting crowded. You've got OneWeb, Telesat, even Amazon looking to build out similar constellations. One name already providing services. Viasat also getting attention today with that stock spiking 7.5% after trouncing earnings expectations. Meantime, it's been big news week for SpaceX as a recent lawsuit by the company against the Air Force was unsealed. We got those details this week. Also, a supplier was criminally charged for faking inspection reports. Meantime, SpaceX has been raising capital two rounds in the past six months or so. There's actually a new filing out today, guys. We're still digging through all of those details, but this is a company that is now valued upwards of $30 billion. And one of the things Elon Musk said on a call with reporters, myself included last week, is that they continue to have more investor demands than they actually need, that they essentially can be very picky in terms of who they choose to bring into these funding rounds. And that's a company where he has a strong number two, something yes. some investors are, are hoping he will get at Tesla. It, it sounds to me like SpaceX has been executing more methodically and consistently, perhaps, than other efforts. I think that is probably a very fair thing to say. It has been an incredible disruptor in space. It's really sort of brought renewed energy to the sector, obviously. Um, and what we know from conversations with Gwen Shotwell, his number two at SpaceX, is that this is a company that has been profitable uh, in many recent years. Um, but this Starlink constellation is going to be one to watch very closely because this could be a revenue generator if it works out. According to Elon Musk's estimates, this could be something that generates tens of billions of dollars for the company versus launch services, which is more like a $3 billion business. Yeah, interesting dichotomy between the space business, where there's a lot less consumer interface, and the car business, which is just hyper-competitive right now.